Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all the well wishes. I am actually feeling so much better. So thank you so much for all your lovely comments in my last video. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, this look is a makeup look that I personally would wear to Garba or Navratri. And happy Navratri first of all to everyone who is celebrating for the next couple of well, the next few days that we have left. This is something very traditional because I've got the kind of little dots on my chin and just to the side of my eyes, which is a very traditional thing that a lot of people do back in Gujarat. So I wanted to bring it here on YouTube. I wanted to create a super universal look which would go with pretty much any outfit and something that can also be used with a different lipstick. So if you don't like this lipstick kind of shade, then you can always switch it up to your favorite lipstick. And it's also something that I wanted to do with hopefully kind of colors and things that people may already have at home in their kit. So you don't have to necessarily go out and buy anything. So um, yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I totally forgot to mention that I have had my hair done, so I just wanted to show you that. So I'm just pinning that all away before moving straight on to primer first. So here I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a crucial stage because you want to make sure that your makeup is going to last all night long through all the dancing. For foundation, I'm actually using this MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof Foundation. I feel like this would just be the perfect thing for when you're going to be dancing around and you know you might get sweaty. Um, you don't want your makeup to slide off. So here I'm just putting the tiniest amount of this onto my face and then kind of making sure there's a bit more coverage on the center of my face. A little goes a long way for this. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Again, this for me is a really long lasting concealer and I know it's not going to budge all night long. So I'm just putting this on the usual areas of my face. If you guys have watched any of my other videos and um, you will just know that this is pretty much what I do when it comes to concealing and highlighting. So here I'm just blending all of those areas away with my damp beauty blender. Then moving straight on to contour, I'm using the Laura Mercier Contour Kit. And I'm just going ahead and contouring the usual places of my face. I find that cream contouring is basically lasts more than just powder contour because you're layering the products. So once I've got the contour bits on my face all sorted, I'm just going on blending all of that out with my Motives foundation brush. And it's a dual fibre brush. And my hair is just going everywhere, but I managed to get that sorted and got all of the contour bits blended out on my skin and then I made sure that my nose contour was blended away using my beauty blender. Next up it was time to set all those areas so first I'm setting off my under eyes and anywhere that we highlighted and concealed with my kick ass powder by soap and glory so here i'm just kind of pressing that on to my skin onto those areas now for the contour shade i actually use this kevin o'quan sculpt powder you can actually use your favorite kind of contour powder for setting your contour but this was the one handy for me when i was filming this tutorial so i'm just going ahead and setting all those areas that we contoured with the cream and just blending all that away with a bigger fluffier brush. Then it was time to do my brows. I will leave a link to my brow tutorial in the info box for you all but I moved straight on to eyes. So here I'm just priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden and this is another really crucial step because you don't want to kind of have your eyeshadow slipping all over your eyes so this is going to make your eyeshadow stick for much longer. And then I totally realised I forgot to put lip balm on, so here I'm just putting my Best Damn Lip Mask on my lips to keep my lips nice and hydrated before we put any lipstick on. For eyeshadow I use the Shadow Couture World Traveller Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking this soft peach shade first and putting that on to my brow bone as the slightest highlight because this is super super matte. Then going in with Morocco which is a really warm peachy brown shade, I am working that into the crease of my eye socket. So I'm really concentrating this colour in there and this is just going to warm up the eye and it looks really really natural at the same time as well and it's nothing too much. Then going in with this fudge shade which is a dark chocolatey brown colour, I'm literally just concentrating this on the outer corner of my eye as you can see here and I'm packing this colour on and then blending the edges out so that it's not moving around too much. Then going in with the same brush that we used for the crease shade to make sure everything's blended. Then I decided to take this Maybelline 
eyeliner. It is super, 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 super long lasting. It does not budge. So that's the reason why I use this. So I lined my eyes first with that. And then I went in with the Body Shop Skinny Fill Thin Felt Eyeliner. And I drew on my wing because the other eyeliner, which is the Maybelline one, doesn't have a very precise tip like this in order to get a really perfect, nice wing. So once I had kind of fixed up the shape of the wing and my eyeliner in total, I went back in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. And I'm just going over the areas that we did the wing just to make sure everything's kind of locked in place. Then grabbing Noir from the same Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette I'm basically just concentrating this on the outer crease and corner of my eye and I'm also smoking the eyeliner out ever so slightly so it's not so harsh looking on the eyes and I'm doing that with an angled brush and as you can see I'm just kind of working at it really slowly until I've got the kind of desired effect that I wanted before going in with the same crease shade and just kind of blending out that area in general to make sure everything is looking nice and blended in together. Then I went in with the Lasting Drama again and I also did some little dots on the sides of my eyes like you can see here with an eyeliner brush. So I took some of this product out on my hand and just kind of dipped the brush in there to create this. And I forgot to mention I also lined my waterline with the same eyeliner. And then once I was done with that, it was time for mascara, so I used my favourite waterproof mascara, and this one is the Urban Decay Cannonball, and I'm doing a good two layers on my top lashes, and then I also put some of this on my lower lashes as well. And I decided to skip eyeliner on my lower lash line, because I just feel like I didn't really need it with this look. For blush, I'm using True Love Blush by Tarte Cosmetics. This is a super, super long-lasting blush. But if you want your blush to last longer, try layering a cream blush with a powder blush because that should lock everything in place as well. For highlighter, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in Starlight, which is a gorgeous pearlescent shade, which I felt perfectly complemented this look. <laughs> and then for bronzer, I used my Sephora powder it's just a normal powder um, but I love using this as a bronzer I will leave the link to it in the info box below but here I'm just bronzing up the usual places of my face before going back in with the same shades Morocco and Fudge from that Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette and I'm just running that along my lower lash line just to balance out the top and bottom parts of my eyes. Now for lips I went in with this liquid lipstick here this is in the shade Sherbet but I kind of felt like it was looking a little bit too corally pink. So then I decided to go over the top of this with the shade of Veronica, which is kind of like a really nice stone brown shade. And I just kind of blended those in together with a lip brush until I was happy with the way it was looking. And for my bindi, I used these bindis here, and they are from bindibox.co.uk. I'll leave a link to that in the info box for you all. And for my lashes, I used my favourites from Red Cherry and these are the wispy lashes. So I'm making sure that I'm pinching the lash band to my lashes because this is going to make sure that they are stuck really well and they're not going to ping off during the night. And then the last and final step is to set all of my makeup in place and I'm using the Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay and just giving my whole face a good spray so everything will hopefully stay put all night whilst we're playing Gerber. And this is the final look, you guys. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know so many of you have been asking for a Gerber look, so I hope this is something that will give you some inspiration. Please, please, please share your Gerber pictures with me using hashtag It's Gerber Time like we did last year because I had so much fun. So I guess that's all for now, you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!